Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier, Hawaii Realty. Happy Thursday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. The case continues today over the attorneys of former Honolulu Chief of Police Louis K. Aloha and his deputy prosecutor wife Catherine. The three attorneys want off the case and are in court right now. Miles Briner, Kevin Sumida and Gary Mataferi claim that K. Aloha's cannot pay them because their assets have been frozen by the federal government. Judge J. Michael Seabright is looking over official paperwork on the Kealoha's financial status today. The former accountant for property management company AMH also appeared in court today. 47-year-old Justin Tuan Ha, also known as Justin, is accused of stealing more than $860,000 from his employers. During today's hearing, he pled not guilty in front of a judge. He was indicted by a grand jury and charged with 85 counts of theft and forgery. Ha handled finances for AMH, Windward City Shopping Center, Kailua Bay Investors and Building Maintenance Solutions between 2013 and 2017. His trial is set for January 8th. New at midday, some good Samaritans are being recognized today for their help in the Mapunapuna plane crash. 23 certificates of commendation are being awarded to good Samaritans by the Honolulu Police Department. Three of the honorees helped out in that plane crash and will have more on the recognition ceremony tonight on Island News. North Korea disaster preparedness is the topic of a town hall meeting tonight. The meeting is hosted by Representative Jean Ward and tonight's meeting starts at 7 p.m. and goes until 8.30. It takes place at Hahaione Elementary School in Hawaii Kai. And as always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10.